was it like having to work with the visual effects and talking to something that wasn't actually there? That was tough. I mean, uh, Legacy Effects, they, they made like a little animatronic uh, version of Echo, which kind of like, it had like limited movements and it could do like different things with its eyes. But I think that like the reason why we had to sometimes like stare at our hands and talk to our hands was because they wanted to get like the, the better version of Echo, which was the CGI one. And they did a really good job of making it, but it was like, you know, it's hard to kind of like have like a heartfelt, say a heartfelt line when you're just staring at the palm of your hand, <laughs> pretending he's there. You guys were really good friends in the movie. So are you guys still really good friends now? Do you guys become good friends? Oh yeah, so. we're all buddies. Um, Ella's actually one day younger than me. And uh, we've been doing our driver's permit stuff, driving around. Um, I see tail at auditions every audition I go to now. Mm -hmm. Never That's, before. Yeah, no, it's not like we're splitting up. We're always going to be buddies, yeah. and we are buddies. Definitely. We're we got each other's backs. And this guy's in New York all the time, but, but we still keep in contact. Yeah. What's one thing from your guys' characters that you can relate to most of all? I really like Munch's aspect of always being prepared for anything. And um, I try to be like that, too. I mean, he takes it a little far, but uh, I try to keep like that. Well, I like the fact that Tuck is very ambitious. Like, he never settles for less. Like, if he needs to find something out or do something, like, he does it regardless of anything, so. Yeah, Emma is very brave and courageous, adventurous, which I, I like about her, and I can kind of relate to that. Alex has got some guts. I mean, I think he's not, like... He's been through, I mean, he's a foster child, so he's kind of like, he didn't have the easiest childhood. And I think that's made him a bit tougher and braver. And so, I mean, that's part of the reason why he, he helps uh, convince Tuck to get everybody to, you know, to get Munch and eventually Emma to come on the adventure with us. What was it like working with David Green? Dave is awesome. I mean, he was such a cool director because he kind of like, at the time, we were all somewhat new to the business, and I think Dave was kind of, he was starting off too. And he definitely he didn't have a big head or anything like that. He was very grounded, down to earth, and he, he understood how to, he kind of like knew how to talk to us actors. He never really like put things into ways we couldn't understand. He would like feel for us, and he, he had a good feel for the movie. He knew what he wanted out of it. So that definitely helped us like get into our characters and do everything how he wanted it to be. He's just a machine, like, he knows what he wants. Dave he knows Green Machine. Us. Dave Green Machine. <laughs> he, we pumped out so much work with him. Like, I don't think we could have done it without him. Definitely not. Yeah, yeah, he's the backbone of this this whole yeah. movie. He's great. What's your guys' favorite sci-fi and alien movie? Alien. Sigourney Weaver, Alien. That's my favorite, by far. I don't, like, what? I haven't really watched sci-fi movies like that yet. I'm gonna start now because you know, this movie is getting comparisons to a lot of, I mean, that's the genre of the movie, but I'm gonna check it out now, but I haven't really watched enough to have a favorite. Independence Day was for sure up there. That's oh, stuff. Yeah. That was a really good movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Star Trek, I'm, I'm kind of a fan. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You. It was nice meeting you.